Hey, great, the last digit of the like for each who you are from the chalk playground. So go down right now, click like, click subscribe, click the bell, look at the screen, pay attention to the last digit of your like and compare these facts. And who are you? Write about it in the comments. It's simple. For example, if you are a marshmallow, then I write marshmallow. Everything is cool. Enjoy your viewing. Hello dear friends, you're on the Melancholy channel. In this video I will tell you about interesting facts about the new update 14.4 in the chalk playground. But before the start of the video, I would like to say thank you for the fact that these guys wrote cool comments and for this they got into this issue. If you want to get into my next issue, then fulfill a couple of easy conditions. You need to subscribe to the channel, put a like, write top comments from 3 words or more, and watch the video from the beginning to the end. The conditions are quite simple, but you will always get into the history of my channel. In general, you will not be on your time, have a nice viewing. Well, fact number one. Now each card has its own unique background. Yes, it seems that it is the same, but it is located on each map in its own way. And on each card you can find your own unique chips. Roughly speaking, the update is really embedded, because now each card is as unique as possible. Fact number two. Now in the 2D chalk playground there is an immersion in the 3D world. This is done due to the new parallax effect. And how is this done? The foreground moves statically, while the background moves a little faster than the foreground, and the clouds are now fixed to the position of your camera. That is, something like this is how it is done. Due to such simple operations, this parallax effect is performed, which creates the illusion of immersion in the world of 3D, although in fact these are three static photographs. Now on high maps we have a height effect. What am I talking about? Now the sky is getting darker at altitude, which makes us understand that this is like approaching the stratosphere. Clouds move horizontally and vertically in accordance with the movement of the camera, which creates the effect of increasing and decreasing altitude. And it seems to us that the height is getting higher and higher and such an interesting cool effect is being created, which only adds advantages to the atmosphere of the chalk background. I don't know if it's worth saying, but now a new map has been added. And this is the moon or the cosmos is not yet clear, although I am more inclined to the option that it is the moon. But the interesting fact is not that, but it lies in the fact that now we have a separate map, where there is its own physics, that is, its own gravity effect, that is, its own gravity values, which adds coolness to the melon background and variability of the opportunity to play to our players. Well, why do I think it's the moon? Look at the lower, let's say, layer of the earth on our maps, we can see small, let's say, craters, which suggests that these are the craters of our moon. Although it would be more interesting if they made the moon uneven. But, in any case, it's very cool anyway. You can also notice that on the map with the moon we are moving around the earth. From what did I decide so, you ask me. And everything is very simple. It is around the earth that we are moving due to the fact that the speed of the planet, as you can see in this frame, does not change when we look at the earth. When other planets are moving much faster, that is, it seems that it flies exactly that planet in the distance. Let's say that Mars is flying here and it seems that it is flying far away. And the Earth? We are moving around it, respectively, we are somehow slower, or are we moving, in general, as if around it, and another planet is just flying around us. That's how it was, and it was from this that I decided that we were moving around the Earth. I hope you understand my point. Well, here's another interesting fact about the Moon. If we bring this map as close as possible, we can see that there is also a pro-lax effect, due to this we are better immersed in the world of Mayim playground. What I'm talking about, look, zoom in and we can see that there is another one superimposed on the foreground, let's say, such an ordinary raster transparent image. And due to this, it seems to us that there are stars behind us, and in front of us we have this transparent background. And they move, let's say, relative to each other, but at different speeds. Damn, how difficult it is to formulate, but in general you probably understood the idea. I am not a scientific person, so I can be wrong in terms. Well, in general, somehow this is how it is done. Due to this perspective, it seems to us that we are also in the map itself and we have an immersion in the atmosphere of this game. You probably understand what I'm talking about. Well, the latest facts about the new update. If you go to the map with water, 
then we can see that the color differs from the background in the menu and from the water in the chalk playground itself, that is, on this map itself. And it seems much darker than it was before. And there, if you immerse the mullein there, there is its own effect, it is really darker there, due to this it seems to us that the water is more realistic, although there is still a lot to do there. I would add, say, white bubbles or some kind of foam. In general, the plant definitely likes. It is really done better than it was, although so far it seems just like some kind of a raster image and. Well, it's a little bit so far. Well, in general, I think it will finish and everything will be much better. Send your new interesting facts to me in the telegram channel or leave them under this issue, it's better to leave them in the comments, of course, so that I can read them and if your fact turns out to be interesting, I will definitely insert it in the next issue about interesting facts about the new update. I think there is something to talk about and it's good for me you you will give me ideas for the video and you will get into my next issue. In general, this is where my video comes to an end, thank you all for watching, good luck to everyone, so far and I remember my friend, as always, I'll see you one of these days.